To do this blog assignment, you'll need to watch this video and then enter all of your observations after you've done this quick little lab uh, and post it on our blog. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you what you need to do first. To do this lab, it shouldn't take you very long, um, but these are the things you're going to need. You have to go out in the landscape and gather one of these. This is a lily of the Nile, and it's in the new landscape that we just um, put together in the corner next to the greenhouse. So you can tell this is a dicot, or excuse me, a monocot, because the venation is all parallel. And grass is one of them, corn's another. But what you'll need to do on that is just pick a, a leaf that's 68 inches in length. And then right next to um, the lily of the Nile, you'll notice... Um, this malva, uh, this mallow plant, uh, you'll need to get one of those as well. Um, if you'll notice on this one, instead of the venation being parallel, it's branched. The venation is branched, and that's why it's considered one of the characteristics of a, a dicot. When we get into the characteristics and nomenclature and classification of plants, uh, you'll learn that's one of the things that dicots have, a branched or netted venation, whereas a monocot has the parallel venation. Also, you need two clean slides, scotch tape, and clear nail polish. We're going to start with the uh, mallow plant, or malva, and then we're going to paint one section with a clear nail polish. It takes about five to ten minutes to dry, so I'm going to set that off to the side to dry. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. You always, uh, on the die cut, you're going to paint the underneath side of the leaves. And now on the monocot, um, this would be the underneath side. We're going to paint the, the side that's facing up. And we'll just paint a strip of that. Just like that. Get, make, make sure that you get it nice and even. And now what we're going to do, uh, we're going to set that aside and wait for 10 minutes. And then we'll come back and I'll show you what to do next. Now that we've given it time to dry, we're going to go ahead and take out a strip of tape just like this. And then I'm going to place it right on top of the leaf where we just painted. Press it down a little bit because you do need to get a pretty good impression of it. What's going to happen here is you're going to actually lift off, not necessarily the tissue, but you're going to lift off the impression that the, um, that the nail polish is left. So then we pull it up like that, set that out of the way. And then you'll get a either a really thin layer, and yeah, we, go. we got a little thin layer of an impression of uh, the plant itself. So this almost like it's almost like lifting up one layer of, of cells or skin. So I'm going to put that down right here for now. And you'll be able to see the underneath side of the leaf. Make sure you get it nice and square and straight. Try not to get any air bubbles in it. There we go. There. And then what we're going to do is put down the microscope. But let's do the same thing for Acopanthus, Lily of the Nile. Same thing applies. You want to get a nice good impression and the, the dried nail polish will kind of act like a layer of cells because it gets the impression on it. And if you take a look at this right now, you can see that you got a bit of an impression right there and then once you've got that done now you're ready for the next step okay the third and final step then is you're going to take these slides that you just made and you're going to put them on the stage of the uh, compound light microscope you could put it under the digital ones if you like but you probably will not see the detail that is uh, really exceptional on these uh, kinds of um, um, these kind of impressions. So I'm going to tilt that down just real quick and there you'll see our impression um, that acts kind of like a, a thin skin of the underneath part of the die cut. So what you need to do is uh, go to the blog and you'll answer some of the questions of what you see, what kinds of, uh, of um, uh, things do you see on the leaves themselves and also you're going to be kind of making a guess why these particular things that are on these leaves are so important in being able to conduct water from the roots all the way to the canopy. So uh, go to the blog and after you have seen these, label them and if you think you know what they are, 
Please don't put down your guesses. Now, if you don't know, that's all right, too. It's important that once you get this kind of uh, at least identified and observed, then other people are supposed to help you along with the understanding of it. So I expect you not only to put on what you see and maybe make a some kind of proposal of possibly what it could be that you see on those leaves, and then you kind of work together online to be able to figure out what it, it, it is that we're actually looking at today and why these leaves are so different. This happens to be the underneath side of the leaf. This is the top side of the leaf uh, for the monocot. So... Um, Go ahead and go and log on to the blog, uh, put down what your observations and results are, and we'll talk about it in class soon. Thanks. Bye.